Hello, hello to our happy community. Hope your day is going positively well. Today we're going to do Rain's Famous Potatoes. Now she kind of got this recipe slightly off of Rhapsody's recipe, except it's, it's slightly different because she was doing potato wedges, Rhapsody was doing potato wedges. But anyways, you cut the potatoes like so. And then, of course, you put it in a big bowl. And I've already put oregano in there, so I'm going to put some oregano... A little bit of red peppers, um, some paprika, some parsley. Some seafood seasoning. Now this is how this is why it's called Rain's Famous Potatoes. She just puts a little bit of like a little bit of everything in it. A little. Um, I might be adding other things that she usually doesn't add, but so we just put um, some seafood seasoning, and then now we have some thyme we're putting in there. And then now some garlic pepper. Seasoning, garlic pepper seasoning. It smells really good though. Some of the things that she may not put in there is the thyme and the dill weed. I'm doing that myself. And then also, she probably wouldn't put some turmeric. I put a little turmeric in there. <clears throat> turmeric, and then some seasoning, uh, soul food seasoning. Uh, turmeric has so many. Benefits. I, I just thought to put it in there just to try it out. And then from there, you see the coloring. What we're going to do is we are going to put some um, olive oil in there. And we're going to mix it around. Make sure all of the potato wedges I'm calling them wedges but you know because they're cut like wedges but all the potatoes the fries get on there So here we're going to put the potatoes on the pan on a flat sheet. I already have the oven at 350. So I like to leave a potato in there or so, so I can scoop up the juices, as you can see. So I just kind of scoop the juices up and kind of get it pouring on there. Get all those juices on there. <laughs> So here we're ready to put the potatoes on in the oven and we'll be putting them on for the first 20 minutes then we'll check on them and then we'll do another 20 minutes so 40 minutes in all and then they should be ready. So here is a dip that I am using. It is not vegan because it does have mayo in it but it's, you can, I guess, consider it vegetarian. Um, 
And then, um, so I used this bowl yesterday and I had it in the refrigerator, so I'm just going to reuse it again. So it has some mayo. We put a little bit of mustard in there. So this is this will be the dipping sauce for the um, fries, the potato wedges. We'll put a little, but well, almost some of the seasonings that we put into the potatoes on the potatoes. Like we just put parsley. Now we're gonna put a little bit of oregano. A little bit of paprika and y'all can make this um, how y'all want it I say you try it out don't knock something until you try it a little bit of peppers mix it together There goes your dipping sauce for the fries. So here, just in case you want extra stuff, you can always add other things to to your potatoes to make it more like a mill like setting. So we got some tomatoes that we're cutting here. We have some lime that we can also put some lime in the dipping sauce. This same stuff we can put in the dipping sauce as well. If one likes. Then we're going to cut us an avocado. So we have our dipping sauce, our tomatoes, our lime, and our avocado. And next I'm going to be cutting up some garlic to put onto the potatoes. So here we have the garlic and I'm going to put that on top of the wedged fries right now. So I'm going to take it out of the oven and put it on there. A lot of this, uh, this part of the stuff I'm doing for aesthetic just because I want extra to be on or with the fries. And so you don't have to do this. But it kind of makes it a more healthier kind of, you know, you got the different colors. It's got the the vibrant things and, and vegetables and fruits to go with it. So, so far this is what it looks like. We still have about 20 or so minutes to go. So they're done. This is what it looks like. And we're going to get the lime and we're just going to pour it all over even in the thing boy appetit try you some today and thank you rain for sharing this recipe with us all consist of a salad, a kale salad with some green beans, some olives, some cherry tomatoes, some broccoli, carrots, and red cabbage, um, snow peas, and we have us some noodles with some creamy Alfredo basil, basil Alfredo. And we have some orange juice. Enjoy. Boy appetit. Hello, hello to our happy community. Hope your day is going positively well. Tonight's meal is going to consist of brown rice. So again, I have a video on how to make my famous brown fried rice. And yes, Fried. I fry it first and then I add everything I need to into it. Um, so this time I added 
a mixture of carrots, broccoli, and red cabbage into the brown rice along with taco seasoning. And, you know, of course, our famous seasonings, which consist of paprika. And let's see if we could see how that looks. Okay. So paprika, some red peppers, some oregano, some parsley, you know, all the good stuff. Okay. So we're going to plate our dish and go from there. So we added some tortilla chips, and then next we're going to add some kale and some tomatoes. I always promote having something green on the plate. So this is how it looks, and I'm going to put the brown rice in the middle. And then we're going to top it off with some avocado. Some avocado. All right, guys. So here this, here goes this beautiful, beautiful meal that we're having tonight. And remember, you can also top this off with things that you like. Like if you enjoy cheese, parmesan, and sour cream, you can also add that to this too. And it's very, uh, well, the way I'm doing it is very um, vegan style. And, but you can make it vegetarian style. I love you all and I hope that you all enjoyed this simple and easy dish.